कर एक मिनट चले रेकॉर्डिंग चालू होस्ट करते तुम्हारा ओके ओके स्टार्ट करा ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सो यस यस ओके ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फोर्थ चैप्टर ओके वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अवर थर्ड चैप्टर द फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ योर एमबीए सेकंड सेमेस्टर 201 बिजनेस एथिक्स एंड कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस द फोर्थ चैप्टर इज वर्क प्लेस इंडिविजुअल्स वर्कर्स एंड मोरल्स ओके दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी नाउ ओके वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अवर थर्ड चैप्टर नाउ in fourth chapter we are going to discuss about the workplace in the organization okay and we are going to discuss the behavior of individuals in the organization we are also going to discuss about the workers behavior and their morals okay so now we are going to start with the our fourth chapter okay 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 so this is the fourth chapter workplace individual workers and morals okay now before starting we i i just want to highlight few things now now see uh, when we are going to work in the organization okay i think you have not worked in the organization those who have worked in the organization they know the rules and regulation and the policies of the organization right in the organization we have to you know we have to follow certain rules and regulation which has been laid by the organizational um, um, organizational objectives okay that we have to follow okay in each and every organization there are they are having certain policies that we have to follow they are having certain rules and regulation that we have to follow we should also have to know about the business ethics okay we should also have to know about the policies of the organization okay because lots of th things is happening in the organization and we should know about the such things okay because we are the workers in the organization so we should know the rules and regulation very properly now before going further we just have to discuss little bit about the industrialization rules and regulations now see uh, as per the companies act uh, act you know they have uh, laid down certain rules and regulation for the industrial development and as well as for the workers development as well so we have to focus on that now industrial organization development uh, rule you know their their most uh, prominent role is to have a good profit in the organization and they have to provide a good services now it's a it depends upon the workers those who are working over there they uh, whether they are following that rules and regulation or not if they are not following definitely they are going to face a certain problem in future if they are following then it is a good thing for the organization point of view as well and for the your job proper job profile point of view as well but before going further we just have to uh, we just have to uh, clarify all this stuff okay now one by one we are going to discuss the factors influencing ethics and workplace now see ethical decision in the organization are influenced by three key factors individual moral standards the influence of more, um, managers and cooperators and uh, opportunity to engage in misconduct now see uh, we are going to discuss about the misconduct or uh, uh, misconduct things as well okay in future now presently we are going to discuss about the industry in individual moral standards okay while only uh, may have a great control over personal ethics outside the uh, workplace co workers and management through authority is the example of it now see the activities of the key workers uh, along with the rules and policies has been established by the firm now in the firm we just have to see the ethical compliances in the organization we just have to see uh the rules and regulation okay before before going further we just have to discuss uh, the companies uh, if you see if you have uh, cracked any kind of interview in the organization in the organization you will see there they will provide you certain rules and regulation and guidelines of the companies so you have to read all the stuff and uh, you know there are some hr person also available those who will guide you about the rules and regulation the timing of the organ uh, the timing of the organization your shift timing right so he, they will they will uh, provide you each and every uh, each and every information they will also provide you the leave uh, facilities also i mean uh, what at, at what time you will get a leave uh, what are the what are the time period time duration of the leave they will each and every thing they will explain you in a year how many leaves you can take right this kind of things is also been explained by the hr person now these these all are the things that you should know properly okay because 
because after that you will not face any kind of problem due to which you know the hr person are they they are very keen enough, enough to provide you all this stuff uh, before joining the organization so if you get an appointment letter after that you will know uh, after that they will provide you each and everything to you they will provide you each and every information to you due to which you know you can able to uh, you can able to get um, a good knowledge about the company's prospectus okay now uh now now see individual standards and values see everyone is having their uh, their own morale their own individual value right and the companies and co worker influences opportunities code and compliances requirement is equal to ethical and choice of workplace now see whenever you are working in any organization you have to make a little bit of the compromisation as well i mean i mean see uh, if the timing they have given uh, say as a uh, 9 o'clock so you should be there at the 9 o'clock i mean you have to come to to the office 9 o'clock only you know up to certain extent the organization is ready to provide you uh, some benefits or some some kind of you know uh, freedom but uh, it is not going to be uh, they are not going to provide you more freedom i mean to say if you are coming late regularly definitely they will punish you or we can say they will you know cut down from your salary so this kind of things is also being happening so you have to you have to very much known about all this stuff okay now the next point is uh, the individual ethical issues now see an ethical issues is an identifiable problem situation or opportunity that required a person to choose from several actions which would be evaluated evaluated as a right or wrong for example should a salesman uh, a salesman the fact and uh, and the fact and uh, re replacement of the filter while uh, selling the kitchen chimney is to a uh, prospectus customers i mean they are just giving uh, one one of the example of selling of the product okay the salesman uh, now see if a salesman is having a, a target i mean to say they have they have got the target of uh, selling near about 100 pieces in 5 days so it's a responsibility of salesman to sell that thing within a 5 days if he is not able to do that you know uh definitely the company is going to be provide them provide them a uh, one more opportunities okay if he is not uh, doing the work properly or or we can say up to a mark then definitely they are going to face a problem so the workers are going to face a problem i mean they can get a less salary or you know uh, they are not going to get any incentives out of it and there will be a possibility that uh, the person can be lay off from the organization so this kind of things is also been happening so what you have to do what you have to understand you have to understand the problems that that has been facing in the organization okay so what you have to do over here you have to find out the things which is required for your uh, benefit okay now the next point is um, a negative work work or life experience sometimes you know you are also going to face a negative impact, negative work uh, place i mean uh, the place which you don't like to work okay there it may be possible that in some circumstances in some uh, areas you know where you will go you don't like the environment uh, which is present over there so what you will do you know you will try to uh, you will try to not to go again in that workplace or you will leave that place so this kind of things is also being happening now sometimes you know employees uh, uh, failing to respect each other in a unique personality sometimes you know you you don't like a person be Uh, the front person behavior which is uh, there in the organization so you will avoid him so this kind of things is also being happening now uh, um, overly agree aggressive financial or business targets sometimes you sometimes you, your target is not achievable then also you are going to face a problem so this kind of things is happening now now how will how you will tackle this problem now sometimes you know you are also having a problem of free uh, problem of having a workload okay in the organization and you are not able to able to do that uh, work in a particular given period of time so you will also again face a problem so this kind of things is being happening and and how you can overcome uh, of this problem by having a good faith on yourself i mean you should have a faith on yourself then only you can 
solve this kind of problem and you should you should also have a positive attitude okay positive attitude is also very much necessary and beneficial part for your from your point of view so if you are if you are having a peace mind and if you are confident enough to solve the problem right definitely you will not, you will uh, you know reduce your problem i mean you will uh, uh, you will not going to face more problem in future because if you are positive enough now see in each and every personal life you will face uh, you see each and every person is facing some kind of problems right some kind of personal problem some kind of you know professional problem always uh, also in some kind of job problems also but if they if they are having a patience right if they are having a patience if they know that in future you know this kind of problem can be vanished then definitely you know they will uh, they will uh, see to it that the time will come and they will uh, you know come across all this stuff all this negative impact all this negative problem which they are facing at this stage so you know you should have a positive positive approach towards the life then only you can able to get success in the life right now the next one is ethical issues faced by individual in the workplace now see there are lots of ethical issues that we are facing i mean the employees those who are working in the organization they are facing let us discuss some of the ethical now see relationship between relationship with suppliers and business partners right they are also facing a problem now uh, now see business partners and the suppliers they are also facing a problem they are really facing a lot of problems uh, due to which uh, you know bribery or immoral entertainment discrimination between suppliers dishonesty of making or keeping contacts so these all are the problems that they are facing now relationship with uh, customers unfair pricing cheating customers dishonest advertising research confidentiality so this these all are the problem that we are that the customers are facing now the relationship with employees discrimination in hiring and treatment of employees so this is the biggest problem that we are facing with the employees okay if you are having uh, if you are working with the organization you will face this kind of problem discrimination in hiring and treatment of employees see managers are there in the organization they are, if they are treating each and every employees with the equal way then definitely there will be no problem if they are not teaching the managers in a equal way then definitely they are going to face a problem so what we have to do we have to see to it that you know this kind of stuff should not be happen okay so so these all are the problems that we are facing now relationship with employees now sometimes you know employees uh, that we have discussed now uh, the relationship with the employees discrimination in hiring and treatment of employees okay then the next one is management of resources sometimes you know uh, the managers the top level managers those who are there in the organization they are not uh, doing the work properly they are uh, they are really not treating in each and every workers uh, properly i mean misuse of organization funds or tax evaluation such kind of things is also being happening so these all are the uh, problems that they are facing and you know the organization is also facing such kind of problems so we have to solve such kind of problems so how we can solve the such kind of problem by hiring a pop a good employees i mean to say quality employees right quality employees means what the employees which is having a very good impact in the organization right they are having a very good curriculum vitae i mean to say the past record is very good so we can also uh, you know we can also say as that these kind of employees is very much beneficial for the organization growth and development and they are also providing a very good result so what we have to do we have to hire such kind of such kind of employees such kind of managers such kind of top level managers in the organization because they are having the experience and they know how to tackle the problem okay and they are not a fraud fraud person because because by looking at the past performance we come to know that this employees has really done a good job in the previous years and in the previous organization and you know if you are hiring such kind of employees definitely they are going to give a effective and fruitful uh, results in the organization development right so organization should also have to see that the managers those who are working in the organization those uh, the top level managers they are uh, they are very much good and they are having a good curriculum uh, uh, record okay the past record okay so these these all are the things which is called as a beneficial from the organization point of view now issues related to ethics at the workplace now see in the workplace when you are working in the organization you will also going to face a lot of problem okay the problem can be a lot i mean to say the business relationship kind of problem the problem of individual um, individual ethics right uh, those who are not uh, those who uh, those ethics is not uh, 
uh, not been equal with the organizational uh, development. I mean to say uh, they are not uh, properly managed or we can say they are not properly uh, suitable for the organization uh, organization point of view so individual person is having their own uh, own dilemmas or we can say they are having their own uh, freedom which is not being given in the organization this can also be happening right sometimes you know the employees are not comfortable uh, with working with the managers because managers behavior is not good i mean they are not a, uh, they are not behaving properly with the employees and uh, and uh, due to which you know employees are facing the problem so this kind of things is also being happening so what we have to do we have to see that such kind of things should not be there okay the employee should not face any kind of problem right so the next point is business relationship the behavior of a business person towards yeah, towards customers employees and others and the workplace may be generate ethical concern ethical behavior with the organization involves keeping uh, family secrets uh, meeting obligations and responsibilities and avoiding undue pressure that may force uh, that may force others to act unethically so this kind of problems is also there in the organization right so uh, what we have to see we have to see that the, this uh, the problem which we are facing in the organization uh, it should not affect the organization as uh, uh, organization um, because uh, because whatever the employees they are hiring you should see that the past record as well if you are hiring the experienced person definitely you will not going to face a more problem because experienced person are the person those who knows how to work in the organization right if a person is having two or three years of experience definitely definitely you will not going to face a problem because he knows how the organizational culture is how we have to work in the organization right so they are not going to face a problem but the fresher person those who are not having an experience in working in the organization definitely they are going to face a problem little bit in uh, in the uh, you know uh, in the opening days i mean to say when uh, when the person is new in the organization definitely he will face a little bit of problem while doing the adjustment with the other uh, employees or we can say with the other colleagues so so what i i mean to say while working in the organization uh, they the other employees should also keep in mind that the person is new one and they should also have to you know uh, give a proper uh, uh, a proper uh, respect or we can say making comfortable in the working in the organization right so he will not going to face any kind of difficulties or any kind of problem so the other employees those who are there in the organization those who are experienced one they also have to help the new employees okay new employee because new employee is a person those who are going to um, those who are going to work in the organization those who are going to uh, survive in the organization for a longer duration of time because he is a new person and definitely he is going to work for a longer duration time if he if uh, the other employees treat him properly right now the next one is conflict of interest interest a conflict of interest exists when the person must choose uh, whether to advance his or her own interest or those in the organization now see conflict of interest and need not be financial okay i mean to say uh, i mean to say if a person is facing any kind of problem financially it is not going to be a, a conflict i mean to say he is not a, capable of expansion of business because he don't have the money in their hand but conflict and influence in interest uh, we can say if uh, if there are two partners those who are working or in the same organization and one is facing some kind of financial issues and another is not facing some kind of financial issues then their collaboration their their collaboration cannot be a proper one because one is not having money in hand another person is having money in hand so they cannot able to collaborate with each other properly why it is so because they are they both are facing they both are not having uh, equal financial position in the organization right if someone is having a more money someone is having a very less amount of money so both both are not a equal person those who are having a less money definitely you know he he is not confident enough to do more investment in the organization because he is not having that much amount of money and the person those who are having a more money definitely he will try to invest more in the organization and he will try to capture more shares in the organization so both may face a problem i, I mean to say both may conflict with each other both may dispute with each other 
so this kind of things is also being happening in the organization so uh, while making a collaboration or while making any kind of uh, you know partnership uh, so both the parties should have the clear goal and they should have to make an agreement between them so in future they will not face any kind of difficulties okay fairness and honesty okay see fairness and honesty are the fairness and honesty are the heart of business ethics okay and are related to the general values and decision makers at a uh, minimum uh, minimum business person are expected to follow all applicable laws and regulation but beyond obeying the laws uh, these are expected not to harm employees okay now the rules and regulation which we have kept for the honesty and fairness should be a proper one i mean to say both the com uh, competitors i mean to say those who are working in the organization and those who are the top level managers or those who are bottom level managers they should have a good relationship with each other i mean there should their uh, their fairness and honesty plays an important role i mean to say they are, they should obey each other in a effective manner okay obeying obeying by law uh, i mean to say uh, you should have to obey to the customers to the employees to your friends to your colleagues to your clients or to your competitiveness to your competitors also to your competitors also okay always remember that if you are obeying to your competitors definitely definitely you will going to have a fair competition in the in a particular locality if you are making any kind of fraud kind of things uh, then definitely you know the competitors can also uh, be alert and he will also not going to give you proper respect so there will be a dispute and quarrel between you and your competitor as well so what you have to do you have to provide you have to uh, be honest with them okay even if you are a manager in the organization you should be honest with your employees as well you should be honest with the customers as well so also honesty plays an important role okay and systematical behavior uh, behavior and making comfortable uh, to the other employees in the organization is also a part of the organizational development point of view because uh, organizational development can be uh, occur only when the employees uh, provide a proper result and how the employees are going to proper, provide a proper result if you are providing them a good and healthy uh, environment in the organization then only they can you know they can uh, provide you a good a good uh, uh, they can provide you a very good uh, services right then next point is proper communication okay communication is uh, another area which ethical concern may arise okay false and misleading advertisement as well as descriptive personal selling tactics anger customers can also lead to the failure of the business truthfulness about product safety and quality is 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 uh, are also an important to customers okay food and drug regulatory authority need to ensure the customers uh, are told to the truth about the product safety quality and effectiveness claims some uh, some manufacturers fail to provide enough information to customers about the difference and uh, similarities about products okay so over here you should have a proper communication okay communication plays an important role don't forget that if you're uh, if you're not making a proper communication definitely you're going to face a problem okay communication is the important aspect okay then next one is a discrimination the root of meaning of discriminate is to distinguish one object from another discrimination is treating people differently it is usually intended to refer to the wrongful act of making a difference in treatment or favor on the basis of other individual merits okay employment discrimination is treating one person better and another person uh, because of their age gender race religion and other protection 